Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me here once again for another video. Today we're gonna to be working on a 12 by 16 inch canvas. This is a smaller piece, I'm testing out new colors, so I don't wanna to go too big. Um, and uh, But before we get started, uh, we are celebrating this week, Valentine's Day. Um, and I hope you all have a great day in celebration of Valentine's Day with your significant other or your children, your family, your friends. Happy Valentine's Day to you. I do wanna show you a piece I created in celebration of Valentine's Day. I did this on a wood block. It's a heart, it's a wood block. And what I did was, look how gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. Do you like it? Tell me if you like it. If you wanna learn how to make these, um, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll gladly have a tutorial for you. But I did uh, resin my piece first. So I did a black metallic uh, color and I mixed it into my resin. I poured it out as the base here. And once that was resin, I went in with my Cricut and I embellished the heart and look how gorgeous it turned out. I'm sorry about the lights, the glare, but take a look how beautiful that is. And then I'm thinking I wanted to leave the edge um, unfinished, but I am thinking I'm gonna paint it in white for a very beautiful contrast. What do you guys think? Leave the comments in the comment section below. Again, happy Valentine's Day to you all. And this piece is in celebration of that. This will be available for purchase at my website, fluidartsbyelsa.com. Okay, check it out. Um, again, I am going to mention the giveaway um, as I inch closer to my 1K uh, subscriber milestone. I will be uh, giving away as a thank you one of my paintings. So go ahead. If you are joining me for the first time, you like what you see, Click the subscription button. Um, make sure you click your notification bell. That way you don't miss any new videos, new content that I put out. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Meet me down at the canvas. So here we are. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So the colors I'm gonna be using. I have Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. And I'm using up my colors that I've been using for my bases mixed with other colors to create more combinations. So Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. We are using Milky White by Master's Touch. Okay. And we are going to be using Light Ultramarine Blue by Golden. So those are my base colors. I'm going to start with the purple. I'm gonna speed you guys up and I'll be back when we're ready for the blowout. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so those are my colors uh, for my base. Still gonna torch it out some more because there's a lot of bubbles in the blue. So torch it out a little more. There. And then just some dust particles. That's why you see me dipping my finger in. Now. We're gonna be starting here with a pearlized dark blue by Master's Touch. And I'm starting with this color right over here. Right in there. And up this way. Beautiful, I love this color. I love the cells that the Master's Touch create. That's why I'm using the again. 
Next, I have Pearl Lilac by Arteza. Very beautiful, light purple, lavender kind of color. Love it. So that's our next color. Love the colors already together. I think it looks very, very pretty. Next, I have Pearl Electric Blue by Arteza. I love this blue. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Looks a little like the base, except it's more on the blue uh, side. Okay. This is a new color I got by Master Touch. I am trying these new colors. So this is Pearlized Bright Gold by Master Touch. So we'll see how this turns out. And I just mixed this one, so I might have a lot of bubbles, maybe. Let's see. Pretty gold color. Love it. Looks beautiful. I love the color combination today. Now I'm adding a little bit of dioxazine purple by Liquitex Basics. And I'm going to be very light handed on this purple. And this is what's creating my contrast here. There you go. Very, very nice. And last I have, and this is a new color as well by Arteza waterfall blue love it it's like a powder blue so i mixed this one as well and this is the first time i'm using this color gorgeous i love the color palette you can't go wrong with the purples and blues and the creamy just adds to it let's torch out these bubbles in the colors that we have laid down Once again, I'm making sure I torch my base because there's a lot of bubbles in this blue part here. The light ultramarine blue by Golden has a lot of air bubbles. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm coming into the purple. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I am super happy. Look at the cell reaction. Definitely is the master's touch, and I love it. I love how those colors react. And I did get new colors. I'm going to be showing you as I go here, but I did get new colors by master's touch. Um, all the pearlized colors I got. Um, only because I love the reaction they have with the paints. Beautiful. Love the color combination. I don't think there's anything I want to do here, really. Nothing at all. I think the blowout is perfect. I love it. I might just torch out a little bit here only because I do see air bubbles popping through there. 
rising up, I mean. And I love the gold by um, Master's Touch. I am just super happy um, with this color palette and the way it turns out. Um, let me clean out my edges. I'll bring you guys down for a close-up. Okay, so here it is. And tell me if you guys love this because I am in complete love with this piece. Look at the cell reaction. And this is what I'm telling you. There has to be the master's touch because I don't get this much when I use other brands of paints. But combined with the Amsterdam, it does create beautiful cells and lacing. I love it. So take a look at that. And that gold is so gorgeous. Oh, sorry for that glare. But take a look at that. Look at that petal. Look at how intricate and it is. Look at those cells. Love that pop of gold. Love the cells it creates. Look at that lacing and the webbing in there. Check it out. Beautiful gorgeous gorgeous i love it love the depth of the dark color in there that pearlized dark blue by um master such is lovely i'm not too happy with the streak of blue here but i don't want to blow the gold over um only because i i didn't want to disturb the gorgeous pop of that gold in there this uh, cell reaction here has to be the master touch as a base. I'm not happy. Well, I don't mind it. Other people don't like that much cells. Um, I don't mind the cells. I think it creates a beautiful composition. Look at that. Look at that cell right there. It's like the light blue and the dark blue and the gold. Everything encircling and popping through. Check that out. So I want to see how this gold compares to the 24 karat by um, Deco Art. Love it. Tell me what you guys think. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to participate in the giveaway. And also because you like it. You like what you see. You enjoy what I do and you learn with me. Tell me what other color combos you want to see. Don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you're notified anytime I have a new content. Um, thank you for joining me here at Fluid Arts by Elsa. Have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.